Hey guys, my name's Doug with Infotainment.com. Today we're in a 2011 to 2018 Dodge Journey. Um, what I'm about to show you also works in the 11 to 14 Dodge Charger and the 11 to 14 Chrysler 300. But in any case, what you're seeing here is an 8 inch display. It does not have navigation. Now there are a ton of vehicles on the road, um, not only the Journey but the Charger and the 300 that do not have navigation. Here at infotainment.com, what we do is we program the navigation systems here in-house um, and then we send it to you so you can plug and play a navigation system factory in your Charger 300 or Journey. Um, installation's really easy, you just need a dash pry tool or a regular head screwdriver, then a T20 Torx bit or 7 millimeter um, driver. So to get started, you wanna shut your vehicle off in this particular case, we're in the Dodge Journey, so we're gonna remove this little trim piece here and this trim piece here. And the Chrysler 300 and the Charger, this little HVAC control panel or climate control panel just pops out and it gives you access to the four screws. But the Journey is just one additional step, and that is to remove these little trim pieces here. And set those aside. That'll give you access to the two screws here. Once you remove those two screws, this will just pop out of place. And then there's a white connector that's plugged into the bottom. All you're gonna wanna do is just push the tab in and release it. That'll give you access to the module here. Now in this particular case, this is an eight inch screen. This is the RE2 module. We're installing the RB5 navigation module. So we're gonna remove the four screws that hold this into place. Some will be seven millimeter and some will be the Torx T20. You slide it out. You just disconnect the connectors that are there by pressing in the tabs. And then you're gonna install the module or the CD player mechanism, RB5, in the exact same location using all the exact same connectors. Once you do that, slide it into place and reinstall your four screws. So we just pop this little climate control panel on. Then all we need to do is reinstall the side panels here. All right, now that that's in, let's turn it on and give it a shot. You'll now notice the navigation feature. So everything else will pretty much stay the same. You will have a new satellite radio ID if that's something you're subscribed to. And then, um, so what we can do is hit nav. Here's your signal bar. It's actually gonna use your satellite radio antenna as the GPS antenna. That's how Chrysler designed it in all the 2011 up model years. But in any case, you can see it pinpointing our location immediately. It uses Garmin Maps with the junction view. It's a really slick system. Those of you who are familiar with Garmin um, know how to do everything. You can store addresses, homes, recently found, favorites, points of interest, um, all sorts of really cool stuff here with the Garmin navigation. You also have your settings menu where you can put your preferences in, um, icon, uh, stuff like that. So, this nav system here is just really slick. It's nice to have, instead of something that'll stick on the windshield, it's nice to have the factory nav, which is the nice big 8.4 inch display um, emitted on that. Uh, so come check us out, infotainment.com. Again, this is for the 11 to 18 Journey, the 11 to 14 Charger, 
and the 11 to 14 Chrysler 300. Come check us out for this upgrade. We also do a whole bunch of other stuff that's really cool, like front cameras, rear cameras, side cameras. Um, we can mirror your smartphone onto the screen. All sorts of really cool stuff, so come check us out, infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.